Griffin's in it. Uh, it's got Catherine Albrecht and so many others, and it really exposes the New World Order, the Cashless Society tracking grid, the RFID, obviously Fall of the Republic. This is the film to shatter the left-right paradigm, to wake up fake right-wingers, left-wingers, to really know who the enemy is, the big offshore banks, the carbon tax fraud. It's, it's all in here. Obviously, uh, the Obama uh, deception. And there's a new video I consulted on that exposes the drug war, the government drug dealing. It's a lot more hardcore than American drug war. That just exposes how immoral it is and how it puts money into the drugs by making them illegal and makes more people use them. This is a hardcore film that Kevin Booth has made, and it ships the 15th of next month. In 17 days, it's being mass manufactured right now. Uh, I'm paying for it to be manufactured. I'm actually the one manufacturing it. Uh, so how weed won the West and it, it explains how it's a state's rights issue, how the government's caught dealing the drugs, how they don't want people to have medical access to it, but how this is really setting the precedent for states' rights. Because if, if the states can decide their own marijuana laws, you want to ban it, want to legalize it, want to decriminalize it, that's, that's the people of the state. They elect the legislature. Um, it's the law. But now other states are saying, well, we'll have our own manufacturing of guns, Montana and now others, or... You know, we'll have our own gun laws. Uh, we're, we're, some states are saying we're just going to ignore your federal gun laws because that's what the Constitution says. This is the rebellion at the state level. Pre-order how weed won the West. Absolutely amazing documentary available at Infowars.com right now. And the trailer's up on the Alex Jones channel uh, at YouTube. Or just Google how weed won the West uh, trailer, Alex Jones. We'll be right back on the other side of this quick break with a key news blitz. Stay with us. Americans have heard much about change in recent times and are now waking up to the truth. Well, here's a few facts about your food you may want to change. Did you know that nearly 100% of the food on store shelves comes from a few corporations and that most is genetically engineered, chemically sprayed, and transported great distances? Baker Creek Heirloom Seed Company, like you, wants to see Americans change and take control of their own food supply, one seed at a time. Over 12 years, we've become America's premier supplier of pure, non-GMO seeds with over 1,400 varieties. Gardeners and homesteaders know Baker Creek offers some of the most popular seed collection kits, like our large heirloom kit with 60 full-size seed packets for only $99. The kit contains 25 types of vegetables and comes packaged in a metal can for long-term storage for just $99. Look for our free catalog today at rareseeds.com. That's rareseeds.com or call 1-866-OLD. See, that's 1-866-653-7333 today. Hundreds of nations have fallen to tyranny in the last century alone. This is our last chance to not relive history. As we're finishing off this agenda, uh, they'll be pulling the rug from underneath Americans at home. They have tremendous influence on our president and Congress, and they really are calling the shots. I think it's incumbent upon all of us as American citizens to pay attention. Fall of the Republic identifies the enemies of our nation, the criminal offshore cartel, hell-bent on destroying sovereignty and on its ashes constructing world government. Tim Geithner, Bernanke, they're arsonists. They're asking for more matches. And the Congress is saying, who do we make the check out to? Today, it seems like nobody does care. And right now in Washington, D.C., we have seen a fall of the Republic. Get your copy of Fall of the Republic on DVD at Infowars.com or watch it online right now in super high quality at PrisonPlanet.tv. Have you ever needed something but you forgot? You know, some of our Life Change Tea customers forget to order, and then they ask us for some rush shipping. What if it was automatic? You know, no gimmicks, just your product smooth sailing to you automatically. And what if there was free tea? In AutoShip, there's some free tea, so call us for details. That's 928-308-0408. That's 928-308-0408. Our AutoShip program has no lock-ins, and you can cancel at any time. Free tea. If auto ship be, <laughs> so call us. There's no better way to jumpstart your health. Look us up at getthetea.com. That's getthetea.com. I was 
sitting in traffic, listening to the radio. George Strait was singing seashores of old Mexico. It sounded so good. I got an idea. We are back live, ladies and gentlemen. Final segment here. news blitz. All-Star State should be renamed. Gag order on David Kelly records could be lifted. London Guardian. Remember, they suicided him. The police walked up. Five men in black uniforms ran away. There was no blood from his slit wrist, no dissolved pills. They killed him. And then after that happened, they covered it up and put a 70-year gag order. But all these doctors and lawyers are suing and demanding it be open. And they're saying, okay, we may do that. Obama likely to rebrand climate bill. Just like they've got a new banker looting robbery bill, they falsely branded it as a bailout. They weren't in trouble. It was just more thieving. Now they're going to call it a jobs bill, despite the obituaries being written for Senate passage of the cap-and-trade bill this year. President Obama is expected to reiterate his call for comprehensive clean energy, but it's not clean energy, it's a tax, and climate change legislation and to rebrand it as part of his job creation agenda. So that's going on. Uh, continuing here, mad scientists want to stimulate volcanoes to block sun because, because the earth is too hot when the earth has been getting colder for at least a decade. And that's a normal cycle. Paul Joseph Watson, key article there. Continuing, the mail... Uh, newspaper, Climate Gate scandal, scientists broke the law by hiding data from government skeptics. Researchers at the University of East Anglia breached the Freedom of Information Act by refusing to comply with requests for the data and the emails show they colluded. That's the big crime I told you a couple months ago, and now it's coming out. It's obvious what crimes are. Uh, how they bragged, we've talked to the government, we're going to suppress it illegally. So that is uh, continuing. Compulsory perv scanners upset everyone the register the european union court of human rights is going to love this the debate over the use of scanners in the uk airports is rapidly turning into a uh, knockabout farce as the equity and human rights commission takes a firm stand on some people's right to privacy while government disrespects everyone's right and prepares to hand over loads more uh, when it doesn't essentially lose the argument at the european court and they're saying you will not be allowed to refuse the naked body scanner if you fly in or out of England, so that'll be a big boycott of that country uh, going on on that front. Ron Paul tells Neil Cavuto the government wants inflation devaluation of the dollar. And he talks about why they want to do that. We have that video up at a key article at Infowars.net by Steve Watson. This is a very important article. Ron Paul agrees they're doing this by design. Well, of course they are. Pentagon calls for Office of Strategic Deception from Raw Story, and then it gets into how they admit how they're specifically lying internationally and domestically through the media and blogs and putting out this information. Wired Magazine is also reporting on that. In the first hour, I covered little Timmy Geithner and how much trouble he's in, open talk of criminal indictments and demands on the dais that he resign. So, again, more good news there. But, again, the New World Order's here. They're, they're oppressing us, but people are waking up and getting angry at all their criminal activity. It's our job to just say, no, I'm not going along with your criminal activity. So that is just some of what we covered. I'll play more of his uh, State of the Union tomorrow and more of the grilling of Paulson. We didn't even get to that and what that uh, swindler did. Call them out for what they are. Crooks. Like I do in fall the Republican Obama deception. Now mainstream accepted because the facts are the facts. Well, that was an incredible show today. Let me tell you what's coming up in the rebroadcast and at the free podcast. You can uh, subscribe to in the listen page of InfoWars.com. Mark Dice, uh, Darwin Bedeker, Kurt Haskell, Deborah Medina. All coming up in the retransmission. We'll see you back here live tomorrow, 11 a.m. Central Standard Time. Get out there and take on the New World Order. God bless you all. Thank you for listening to GCN. Be sure to visit GCNlive.com today. One major world crisis away from having a totalitarian type of system. The main event is the, the wholesale destruction of the world economy. The push for every nation on the globe to identify and number all of its citizens. Friends, I hope that you will order shadow government from InfoWars.com.